It was late June, and my wife Lori and I were photographing the canola fields on a local farm in Summers, Montana. I noticed this amazing large barn not far away. I asked our gracious host about this magnificent structure. They said that the locals called it the Blasdell Barn and that it was part of the waterfowl production area controlled by U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and believed it was open to the public. So I grabbed my camera and headed over to the old barn to take a few images. As I approached the barn, I became more excited and curious about this incredible structure. It was amazing. I later learned that the barn had a long, rich history that dates back more than a century. It's located in a rich farmland area called the Flathead Valley. The barn was built by a settler named Frank W. Porter in 1908. The Porter family sold the barn and ranch to Jesse and Ethel Blasdell in 1945. It was sold again in 1987 to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service by the Blasdell family. Our host told me that there were not many structures like this one still standing in the Flathead Valley. They boasted that it was the largest ever built in the area and its design and construction was a marvel back in its day. They also mentioned that the barn was added to the National Register of Historic Places. Although most of the barn was badly weathered and its exterior paint faded, I could imagine what the barn must have looked like in its glory days of old. The fact is, this is a very old barn in decaying state and wondered if maybe it was going to be restored sometime in the future. Exploring the interior was a slow and careful process as I wasn't sure how stable everything was around the structure. I hope these images capture the majestic size and character of its interior. It was spellbinding and exciting exploring the old barn. One can only imagine all the tales to be told and shared about this old barn. There were probably a multitude of people who worked or passed through its doors. There were several ways to climb up to the loft. My first exposure once I reached the loft was mesmerizing. It was huge in size. It had a massive gambrelled roof and very large beams extending to its crown. Most of the roof was missing the original cedar shingle coverings. The loft was very airy. The penetrating sunlight was casting amazing shadows all around the interior. This was most likely the area they stored the hay and feed for all the livestock around the ranch. The land around the barn has very rich soil, but not much was being farmed on the land. However, one could see several large farms surrounding the property. One can find lots of local newspaper articles written about the farmland community of Flathead Valley, the old barn, and their past history. I was told there was a real effort 
to preserve and restore the Blasdale Barn. There are active programs working their way through the local, state, and federal agencies. Perhaps this majestic structure has a new facelift in its future. Time will tell. I found the sign posted after walking around the property boundaries. Really didn't say no trespassing, but seems to invite one to hunt. Not quite sure how that works. However, I did finally see signs that said, no entry beyond this point. So I do apologize for trespassing and entering the interior of the barn. The old barn is in a deteriorating state and getting weaker with the passing of time. I would check with any local authorities and inquire about any current rules and regulations to enter the site. Many years have passed since I've been there, but I feel privileged to have passed through its doors and captured these images for the records of time and the timekeepers. I'm sure there are so many tales to tell within its walls. The Blasdell Barn is truly a part of the area's history. <laughs>